Well, we'll come to Chelsea in a moment, but it's actually the first time for Liverpool in 33 games in the Premier League that they failed to score at Anfield. We know they're going through a bad patch. They're going through a lull. But what do they need to get themselves out of it, Karen? Um, just to, I think they just need to bring back a bit of energy and spark, and that comes from within. Um, you know, I think it was probably flat at the ground as well, it seemed like, and it's just a difficult moment um, that they're in. They're not probably used to where they've been at the moment, not used to these situations, as you said, but sometimes you go through it. You know, when we've had, when we've seen Liverpool be unbelievable for the past how many seasons now, the expectations are there for them, but, you know, as teams, you have to go maybe sometimes through that evolution where you have to go again and re-spark, and that might be, this might be the season where they have to kind of use it as a rebuild and we go again next season. What does the manager do in this situation? How do you get that spark back into your players? Well, it helps if you've got all your players back fit. But I mean, we continually listen to managers, certainly these two managers, moaning about fitness of their players. Now, that's why they got one of the biggest squads in the league, to be able to cope and find a solution. I think he's lost his spark. I really do. Jurgen Klopp. I think he's been there a long time now. I don't, I what, think he's too a, long now? I think he's unsackable. I really do. And he, he's earned the right. He's an absolute top draw manager who we'd love to have in the Premier League. But I would be surprised, I really would, if he's there next season. I think that the change might have to be from the manager. And I think he would might want a new challenge. He might want to breathe. He might want to take away. It takes its toll, football management, certainly at the highest level. And he's been there. And he will certainly come back. But whether he can transform the fortunes of Liverpool Football Club next season, that soon. It all depends, I would suggest, where they finish this year. If they if they go in the Champions League, you never know. If they get their best players back fitness, then the manager is good enough to take him wherever he wants to. But it looks like a long shot of them winning that. It looks like a long shot at the moment when you look at the league that they're going to finish in the top four or win anything this season. So I would suggest if they don't and they don't qualify for the Champions League, I think they might have a new manager. But it will be his choice. And rightly so. Liverpool fans around the world are crying right now. That's that, not going to happen. That thought. Don, what's your reading of this? It won't situation? happen. It won't happen. Jürgen Seven Klopp years. Said it. He does it all the time. When Jurgen Klopp was at Dortmund and he went through the same sort of run of results and he left, there was loads of, there was loads of mitigating circumstances. They sold Lewandowski, they sold Mario Goethe, they sold Kagawa, they sold uh, Nuri Shaheen. It was different. And when Jurgen Klopp left or when they sacked him, their chief executive, Hans Vats, uh, Vatska said, Jochen Vatska, sorry, said, the biggest mistake we made in Germany was sacking Jurgen Klopp. What we should have done was sacked half the team. That's what they said. They should, because they knew how special Klopp was. They won't sack him. I've said that. He, he, will, he will stay. He'll walk away. He, he won't. He'll walk away. He's already said it last week. He said, I will rebuild this team. Mm-hmm. The Liverpool fans will back him. What he needs is investment. When you look at the last six months, what Chelsea have spent in the last six months is half a billion Liverpool have not spent half a billion. Liverpool have spent half a billion from 2018. They've spent half a billion over a four or five year period where Chelsea have just gone and done it inside six months. But Arsenal they're have put, spent hardly anything. But they're the putting all their energy into Jude Bellingham. They're putting all their energy into that. They're putting energy into Caicedo. They know and he knows what he wants. When you, Liverpool, when you look at Liverpool's back five, including goalkeeper, disagree if you like, there's not a better back five in European football than what they've got. When you look at their front five, a lot of teams would want Liverpool's front five. So the evidence is quite clear. It's what they need is they need midfield players and they need energy. Yeah, they've got an age midfield, haven't they? I think Jürgen Klopp is well up for it. Would Jude Bellingham go there if they're not in the Champions League? I think, I think, it's, I think you can sell it to him. I think if you're Jürgen Klopp, the rumours are that he's offered Jude Bellingham the number eight shirt to be the new Steven Gerrard. They're trying to sell that to him. It's quite an easy sell when you sit down with Jude Bellingham and his family and say, listen, us not being in the Champions League is a one-off. We're constantly fighting for Premier League titles. We're constantly fighting for Champions Leagues. This season is a one-off and a really troubled season with the World Cup and how Liverpool started. Mm -hmm. The one thing I would say is commentating on most of the Liverpool games all this season, probably apart from the Bournemouth 9-0, Liverpool have had no control over any game that I've watched. They've constantly gone one behind. There's always been chaos. There's been drama. That wasn't Liverpool last season. Mm. They were so confident. They were measured, weren't they? They were, they were very, very measured. And I think with like the Bellingham chat from watching him as a Birmingham fan for all his time, there's obviously there's always a plan for him and for his family and even from like the academy when they had him. So I think he, he's yeah. probably one that you can actually have a conversation with and mm. set out that plan and be inspired because yeah. I always felt that from when I watched him as a 16, 17-year-old that him and his family understood the bigger picture and, yeah. and yeah. where his career could go and what it meant. So I think... Of any player that can see that and Jurgen Klopp can sell it, yeah. I would say it it's would three be clubs, in. isn't it? It's, it? it's Liverpool, 
Man City and Real Madrid. And the fact that you can cling on if you're a Liverpool fan to a little bit of hope when Carlo Ancelotti got asked the question about Jude Bellingham. Fantastic player, but I'll stick with the three I've got. So now you're thinking, this is City and Liverpool for Bellingham. 